You ever just totally embarrass yourself on the internet? It's fun, right? Back in 2019, I uploaded a video called Playing Minecraft for the first time, and I embarrassed myself, dude. I went in completely blind with no research beforehand, and the comments were very quick to point out just how many things I was doing wrong. <laughs> And I haven't played Minecraft since. Not because I didn't enjoy it or anything, just because, you know, Animal Crossing came out and then that took over my life for a while and I got distracted playing with matches or something, I don't know. But I've been thinking for a while now that I really wanted to hop back into Minecraft for another go. You know, first time playing Minecraft, take two. So, I'ma do that. Now, all you Minecraft veterans out there are probably still gonna cringe at this video because yes, I am still playing on console. Yes, I am still going in mostly blind, but this time I wanna actually figure this crap out for myself instead of just goofing around. Don't get me wrong, I'm still definitely gonna goof around, but I wanna actually accomplish some things this time. And to help me out here, I decided to give myself a bit of a home field advantage. So today I'll be playing Minecraft using the Steven Universe mashup pack. It adds a bunch of recognizable characters and locations from the show, just kind of gives everything a Steven Universe skin. I have no idea how this will affect the experience, I just wanted to do it. So without further me stalling, these are Fofi's adventures in Minecraft. So I load up the game, select the Steven Universe pack, hit create world, and... Oh! <laughs> God, look at this, I'm in the house, you know, from the show. <laughs> look at this place. They got the kitchen. Here's the portal. Amethyst room full of garbage. Oh my God. Oh, the room with all the bubble gems. Oh my God, they even got the TV that's always broken. This is so freaking cool. So yeah, I was geeking out a bit, but after a couple of minutes, I calmed down and started regaining my bearings. I know it's been almost two years since I last played this game, but I do remember a few things. I know I gotta gather materials to craft stuff that'll help me survive. And at the moment, I have nothing. I hopped outside of my home base, forgot Minecraft has falling damage, and surveyed my surroundings. I see sand. J just lots of sand. Ooh, crab. I see crab. I kill crab. And here's where I started to realize maybe using the Steven Universe theme was a bad idea. I mean, yeah, it's cool, but now I'm thinking about this like Steven Universe. And if I existed in that world and was just walking around heartlessly killing crabs, I would be the villain. But this is Minecraft. I have to kill animals to get food so I won't die. I didn't feel bad about it in normal Minecraft, but I feel really bad about it now. And I felt even worse when I saw the other animals in this mashup pack. They made them all watermelon animals. They're too cute. And I feel absolutely terrible killing them and taking their meat for my own survival. I, er, wait, meat? They turned all the animals into watermelon, but they still give you meat? We're living in a simulation. So I kill every animal I can find to line my pockets with gross, slimy, raw meat, and then it's time to start mining. Break dirt, punch rocks, slap trees, get garbage. Mining. But you know what the most fun part is about destroying the local ecosystem? Dying. I forgot just how many things in Minecraft are out to get you. Creepers, zombies, endermen, skeletons, spiders, the animals I've been killing, it just never ends. And now with this Steven Universe skin, it can kind of be harder to tell who is and isn't friendly. But like centipedals, injector drill creepers, and gem mutant zombies, it, those are obvious. But then I was walking around and found Squaredot here. They didn't attack me immediately. They seemed calm, so I assumed they were chill. But then suddenly they pulled out some kind of evil potion that exploded at me, and then I died. And I lost all my stuff. Off a cliff. Minecraft! All right, I respawned, we're back at it, we're doing okay, and oh, hello, Hollow Pearl. You, you gonna be cool? You gonna, oh, oh god, okay, okay, never mind. Oh, what is happening? Uh, okay, okay, running away, running away. Guys, I think I suck at Minecraft. Seriously, I've been exploring all around to find the stuff I need to make like weapons and equipment, but I just keep dying before I can make any progress. I'm also just totally lost. Okay, I'm not lost lost. I know where everything is. I spawned at the beach, which is right next to the city. Peridot and Lapis's barn is over there. The kindergarten's right behind it. The hospital from that gem mutant episode is right next to the motel from the Ruby and Sapphire episode, which is right next to the amusement park from the Shorty Squad episode, which is right behind Beach City. I got the lay of the land down pretty well. I'm more lost objectively. 
I don't know what to do. This is where my Animal Crossing bias is showing a bit. See, when I started playing Animal Crossing New Horizons last year, I was also gathering materials to build things to survive on an island just like I am right now. But the difference is, Animal Crossing has characters. People who give you tasks and goals to accomplish, or even just people to talk to for fun. Minecraft, on the other hand, is turning out to be a very lonely experience. I haven't seen a single other character from Steven Universe around. At least, not one that wasn't trying to kill me. Honestly, it kind of feels like I'm exploring a post-apocalyptic beach city. All the characters you know and love are gone, every building is abandoned, and the town is crawling with the undead. That's definitely not the fun, blocky Steven Universe adventure I was expecting. Well, if this is how it's gonna be, then... I'm just gonna embrace it. It's time to get serious. We are in pure survival mode now. So first, we need a home base. I make a crafting table, throw together some wooden tools, find a nice hillside made of dirt and stone, and start carving out a place to stay. Now I just need a bed, a chest, and a furnace. So I do what any seasoned survivalist would do. I walk five feet over to an abandoned, fully furnished two-story house and steal all their stuff. Well, I get the feeling I'm making this harder than it needs to be. Eh, it's probably nothing. So, welcome to the Fofy Diamond Sword Home Base 1.0. Here's my front door. I stole it. Here's my bed. I stole it. Here's my storage chest. I stole it. Here's my furnace. I stole it. Here's my enchantment table. I stole it. And here's my crafting table. I made this myself. You could say I'm a bit of a Minecraft expert. So I craft up some stone equipment because the wooden ones are poopy, I sleep, and then I wake up the next morning ready for adventure. I think I'll start by paying a visit to the beta kindergarten. If you're more of a Minecraft person than a Steven Universe person, a kindergarten is a place on Earth where gems are created and burst out of the ground. So this place must have a ton of cool materials to find. I started walking around, honestly wasn't finding a whole lot, when I had to pause the game for a minute. And this... This was when I learned you can't actually pause Minecraft. Okay, maybe the kindergarten was a bad idea. Why don't we head over to the beach instead? Back where we started this whole thing. Yeah, you know, nice walk on the beach, surrounded by monsters, you know, good times. But then I remembered, I can swim. I've been on just one island this entire time. There's an endless world of Steven Universe themed Minecraft junk out there. Why don't I go see it? So I dive headfirst into the ocean and Oh my god, really? They turned the drown into Malachite? I mean, yeah, <laughs> I won't spoil it here, but I guess if you know the show, it makes sense. It's just weird to see such a heavy plot point boiled down to <laughs> this. Pretty sure there's only supposed to be one of them. Anyway, I'm in the ocean now, which means it's time to press A over and over again until I find more land. Once there, I hop out, run around, kill more animals, and eventually... <gasps> Fryman! Okay, this is new. We actually found someone who doesn't want to kill us. Not sure why he's all the way out here when his fry shop is sitting abandoned in Beach City. I guess the apocalypse drove him into hiding or something. But hey, we found our first actual Steven Universe character. What do you got to say today, Fryman? Cool. After hanging out with my new friend for a bit, it started getting dark out. I didn't want to get swarmed by monsters, so I hopped back into the ocean, started swimming back to the main island, and shockingly didn't die. <laughs> it's looking like progress to me. And man, whether you like Steven Universe or not, you gotta admit, swimming up to an island and seeing this in the distance is pretty cool. Actually, wait, what's, what's that just off to the side there? Ooh, oh crap, we got a cave. I make note of that, head back home, grab all the equipment I need, and I jump right into action. And it was only as I started exploring this dark, mysterious cave that I realized I never learned how to make torches. <laughs> That's not a great start, but I'm in it now. I'm sure it won't be that bad. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it! <sighs> time? I've only lost most of my equipment and will to keep going. But after dying about five or six times, I finally escaped the never-ending horde of enemies, hopped onto the side of this hill, and just started digging. And eventually, I break into some random room. Huh. That wasn't what I expected. Guess I'll see what's around that I- SLIME! 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 As you can see, I had everything under control. But where am I? Well, apparently, between all the dying I was doing back in the cave, I completely missed this giant tower castle sitting on top of the hill I was climbing. Really not sure how that slipped by me. And I guess I just happened to break into the slime bombardment room. But 
I'm here now and I'm not being attacked anymore. So I decided to take a look around. This place is massive, dude. And the confusing thing is I don't recognize it at all. Every place I've been since the start of this game has been from Steven Universe. I could tell immediately, but I really have no idea if this is supposed to be anything from the show. I don't know, maybe I'm just missing something or... Oh, hello, Lapis. Something tells me you're not the real Lapis. You don't exactly look happy. Are you gonna, oh, okay, yep, yep, bad, bad time. Can't trust anyone. Oh God, what is this ice garnet? Why do all the enemies look like friends? I, I feel like I'm not supposed to attack them, but then they attack me, so I kill them, and then I feel bad. So with that trauma now on my back, I keep working my way through the tower. I fought some enemies, found a bunch of soup laying around, and after lots and lots and lots of climbing, I finally make it to the top. And there's nothing here. Well, I think I'm just about done with Minecraft for the day. All jokes aside, I, I am out of time for this video, but I'm having a lot of fun with this game. The exploration is exciting. I love finding secrets. I'm getting at least a little better at the combat. And I think having the Steven Universe map really did help ease me into things. At this point, I know Beach City like the back of my hand thanks to other Steven Universe games. So it actually did help me kind of get my bearings. I know I still have a lot to learn and even more to explore in this game. Definitely let me know if you want to see more Minecraft in the future. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the progress I've made. So how do I get down?